Hey, welcome back. It's Rick from Chaos from Creations, and I'm going to be working on the Beholder. Now, this Beholder has been uh, held off for quite some time, and I poured it into a mold to redo it. And all I want to do is just uh, add some more detail, make sure that the detail is a lot cleaner this time, and... Uh, Make sure everything is completely uh, texturized. There's no missing spots. I want to, you know, do a lot of very good cleanup duty on him, even on his teeth. They have uh, like fingerprint marks. I'm gonna clean that up. And I realigned his eye. This is why his face looks like that. So I, I need to realign his eye. This is just uh, some resin that I put in here. I have a uh, actually this handy little eyeball mold that I use. Um, I got this from Amazon. It's, I, I call it an eyeball mold. I don't really know what it's for, but hey, it works. But yeah, this whole video is going to be showing me the, um, this is going to be sharing um, how I'm going to fix and refine this guy into a final product, which would be a uh, a model to display. This will be a stone texture. This will be acrylic. This will be a resin bust. Just put him right there. I even just pulled out his uh, tentacles, his eye stalks. Um, they do have some work to be done, but that's okay. I'll just clean those right up, and you get to watch me do it. Um, see how his eyeball hasn't completely like come out right because of the clay. That's all right, because I use BBs. So, sit back, relax, and watch how this little creature comes to life.
And the beast is complete. Now I know that I had skipped a, a couple of scenes when it comes down to the whole sculpting part and even uh, the base becoming black and this extending out a bit more. I had filmed a lot of, uh, of scenes on this and I'm recording off of my phone and actually even editing on my phone. And this is the first time I've ever edited. So, you know, please forgive me on that. I'm just starting out on this. And, um, but I like the way this came out. There's going to be some cleanup work that I am going to do once it's molded. Um, making sure that the rest of the tentacles are a bit more flush on the body. But just to let you know from what I was doing, um, I painted this with, um, with the glue and acrylic paint and it, you know, hardened the, uh, it hardened the foam texture. I ex and I extended the, uh, the peg with epoxy putty and sanded it down. And I moved it back so I can remove his jaw. So his jaw is now removable. I uh, I couldn't film that scene since I couldn't find a good position to uh, to cut it off with or to film it in a way. So I cut it off off camera. I added a peg to him, and now he works. So he's got a full keys all on his uh, his through his jawline through his uh, tentacles and everything else. And I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. This is my first and I plan to get better from this point forward. The next video is going to be the molding process. So this is the end of part one. Thank you for viewing this. And if you want to stay notified, please hit that bell. And if you would like to see more sculpts, be sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you very much, guys. This was actually a really fun sculpt to get back on. I'm glad to have finished uh, this project that I started one year ago. And yeah, finish what you start. You have a good night, guys.